Vampires. I'm a vampire. No. Okay, I'm a werewolf, but I can... No. No werewolves. No vampires. No zombies. Jesus Christ, no. You're right. Look, what if you're a guy living in L.A. and you have a bunch of quirky friends that are trying to break into the entertainment industry? No, no, we're, we're not doing that. These are... These are all terrible, terrible ideas. Well, what are we going to do then? What if it's just me? I mean, what if, what if I'm just me and we just do whatever I want to do? I mean, you know, whatever comes to my mind, I, I write it and then we shoot it. Like sketches? Yeah. Are they funny? I don't know if I want to come out and say that they're going to be funny. You know, that might amount to a lot of pressure. So, I mean, maybe we could say, you know, some of them might be funny. I mean, this way, if one of them isn't that funny, we can go like, you know, that one, that was a serious one. Uh, the next one is going to be funny. Maybe. So, potentially funny sketches. Um, amusing. Potentially amusing sketches. You know, I hear the word sketch, and uh, my mind goes right to funny again, and I think we're right back to that expectation that, um, you know, I think maybe we should call it something else, like maybe uh, uh, vignettes. Okay, so potentially amusing vignettes. Yeah. Kind of, uh, kind of like the sound of that. Okay. You don't, you don't think we're selling ourselves short here, do you? No, I, th I think it's good. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Okay. What's going to be your first vignette? How about I'm an alien from outer space, but I can I can take human form and I, uh. I come down to Earth in my ship, and I have to hide it, and, and I have to make sure nobody can find it. So I'm kind of incognito, and I have to go undercover uh, with the NYPD, and we're in a drug sting. And... I bet we've been together for a million years And I bet we'll be together for a million more It was like I started breathing on the night we kissed And I can't remember what I ever did before What would we do, baby, without us? What would we do, baby? Without us And there ain't no nothing We can't love each other through What would we do, baby Without us Sha la 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 body's exactly how we found it, Detective Connors. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, good. Are you sure you want to do this, Mel? I mean, we can call somebody else in if you want. Yeah, I think I should be the one to handle it. I just know I wouldn't want to be the lead detective in charge of the investigation in my own wife's murder. Just what exactly is it that you're implying, Detective Johansson? Nothing, Mel. I'm just saying you might be a little too emotionally involved in the case. Look, I can control my emotions, okay? It's not like I was the one who cheated on me and lied about it. 
What? Nothing. Nothing. Now, let me get back to my investigation. Whatever you say, Mel. Uh, just let me know if it gets too difficult for you. Multiple aggravated stab wounds in the heart. Obvious suicide. Case closed. Obvious suicide? That doesn't make any sense. Listen, Johansson. When you have 35 years in homicide, you'll be able to tell the obvious suicides from the insane cop husband goes mad with jealousy cases too, of which this is obviously the former and not the latter. Look, I'm just saying you're ignoring a lot of evidence here, Mel. Oh yeah? Like what? For one, the defensive wounds on her hands, the bloody size 12 boot marks all over the floor, the capital M and lowercase e scrawled in blood next to the body? That just says me. She was probably writing, me did it. Me did it? Why would she write it like that? Look, I don't know. You can't expect somebody to have perfect grammar when they've stabbed themselves 14 times in the front and three times in the back. Hang on. How can you tell if there are stab wounds on her back? It's an educated guess, all right? I've seen this kind of thing far too many times. All right, look, I'm just saying that none of the evidence here points to a suicide. This is obviously a murder. Fine, let's do it your way. By the book, find the murderer, whatever. Erratic, lower class stab wounds indicate that the killer was an African American male of no relation to the victim whatsoever, and who was definitely not a member of the police force. Lower class stab wounds? What the hell are those? Look, sometimes you can just tell instantly whether the killer was poor and not a cop or in wedlock with the victim. That's ridiculous. You know what, Mel? This whole thing is starting to look a little bit suspicious. Listen, rookie. The last person who accused me of something here was my wife. She accused me of being too paranoid. And look at what happened to her. You didn't, didn't you? Jesus, what happened? Isn't it obvious, Detective Morgan? The same black guy who killed my wife ran in here again, took the gun out of my holster, shot Detective Johansson twice in the head, wiped off his fingerprints, placed the gun in my hand, and ran off. Amazing. Twice in one week. California. Excuse me, uh, can you help me figure out which bus to take to get to the zoo? ¿Dónde está la biblioteca? No, no, the, the zoo... Uh, you know what, never mind. Hey! Hey! Me? Why you want to go to zoo? What? I'm sorry, what? Why you want to go to zoo? I'm... I'm sorry, I can't... I can't understand you. I say... Why you want to go to zoo? Why do I want to go to the zoo? Yes, yes, it's a simple question. Why you want to go to zoo? Um... I don't know, to see the animals, I guess? Do you know which bus to take to get there? Animal? You want animal? Look around you. Whole city is animal. Rat in gutter. Pigeon begging for food. Dog pissing in sidewalk. Look, there. Capitalist pig businessman running late to meeting. You want to see a pig in cage? Look in the window of office building. 
You want to see a monkey playing in its own filth? Look at disgusting children on playground. You want to see a hippopotamus? Look at fat woman walking down street. Now, you tell me what possible reason you have to want to go to zoo? Uh, look, uh, never mind. I'll figure it out on my own, but thank you. Uh, excuse me, sir. Do you know if there's a Mexican restaurant around here? Why you want to go to... Is the cross street. Oh, thanks. Uh.